Hallelujah. So, rewards were an hour late today. EA decided that they wanted to have a three hour maintenance between 6 and 9 p.m. GMT. That, for some reason, was a smart idea for them to go straight across reward time. Like, why? I don't get it. Anyway, let's get into rewards. Team of the season is finally here. If you're looking to get yourself any coins from the best supplier in town, check out my sponsor, FIFACoinZone.com, and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off. We're going to start off with my account. We're going to start off low. We have got division rivals and foot champs rewards, and I finished in rank four because I forgot to play rivals this week. I'm so silly. Oh, I just remember. I, okay, right. Yeah. I finished in rank four. I totally forgot to play rivals this week. Um, I don't have an excuse for it. I only played a silver one because I knew we weren't getting team of the season rewards this week. Uh, well, I didn't know. I just guessed. And EA have said on Twitter now that from next week onwards, we're getting team of the season rewards. Uh, elite players and top 100 players get all of the team of the seasons they get are going to be from the top five leagues. And then uh, from goal two and goal one, you get a guarantee of at least one player from the top five leagues. And then uh, anything below that, you don't have any guarantee of getting a player from the top five leagues. And then silver three and silver two have rating requirements. So I'm be playing all 30 uh, games a weekend league from now on, trying my hardest to get myself to, uh, to elite so I can get, obviously, players from the top five leagues. And we're going to start off with a Joaquin from our red rewards. Not amazing. 84 rated. It's all right. Actually, how close am I now? I must be pretty close to getting myself a uh, a red player pick upgrade, which is pretty interesting. So, we don't have too many packs. We've got a couple of premium gold players packs. These are from Rivals. We'll open these first and see if we can get anything good from these. Probably won't get anything good, but we thought, or I thought, might as well open them anyway. So, uh, let's see what we get. We're going to start off with a board drop. What are we going to get? Yeah, come on. Spanish, striker... Adoris might be going for a little bit more right now because of the weekly objective, but probably not too much. So I'll just store him in the club and maybe sell him later on. Not entirely sure about that. Anything else? Nothing else. <laughs> so I'm not expecting anything, to be fair. It was my fault for not playing rivals. I completely forgot. Uh, and if I get anything good, it'll just be complete luck, to be honest. And, uh, and there we go. We don't get a board again. Oh, sorry, we don't get a walkout again. We get a board, though. Anything decent? It's going to be Spanish again. Centre mid this time. Hey, I'll take, uh, I'll take a Manu Tregueros. So... Nothing spectacular from rivals, but in terms of team of the season rewards next week, I'm pretty excited because uh, there's going to be obviously EA announced now. There's going to be minor leagues, so we're probably going to be getting like I don't know the area divisi for example uh, as a team of the season of its own, which is going to be great because we're going to get so many great area divisi players. Uh, we're probably going to be getting um, I'm trying to think of other minor leagues. Maybe the Chinese league counts as a minor league. Uh, you know the Super League will have some decent players in. I think um, David Luiz is selling for a bit as well, so that's not too bad. So there's going to be quite a few very good players to get in red rewards and in the team of the season slash team of the week packs. So uh, I'm pretty excited to be honest, and uh, hopefully you guys are too. They said it starts from May 17th, so that's tomorrow. So from tomorrow, we'll get, I'm guessing, Premier League rewards. And then uh, the week after, it'll be whatever week it is. So uh, I'm pretty excited for that. So let's open up our last pack on my account. No walkouts this week. Not expected, of course. Uh, I finished very poorly in both Division Rivals and Foot Champions. And I uh, I didn't really deserve anything good. So let's go and open some packs from people that actually finished their, their games and didn't cop out like me <laughs> now for sam's rewards sam plays pretty much all his games all the time we have got of course division rivals rank one rewards uh so we've got a 200 uh, two ultimate packs sorry 225k packs and two mega packs uh for rank one and then in foot champions i believe he finished in gold one um oh no he finished in elite three this week okay uh i actually said like i mean obviously like it wasn't it wasn't intentionally for, for me i didn't i didn't want him to finish poorly but i said finishing gold one because uh i think the 100k pack is probably more worth it than the team of the week packs for this week uh in terms of the team of the week we don't really have too many great players i mean i think the best player this week is 88 mares that's really poor in my opinion so i i was i just thought maybe it was a better idea to finish in gold one but sam's finishing elite three sam's a very good player so next week obviously he'll be finishing elite and getting the optimal rewards but we start off with an 87 Lopez. That's a fantastic start, actually. All high-rated players are great. Sam's currently trying to do a bunch of, like, SBCs for icons, like Vieira and whatnot. So, uh, any high-rated players are great. And this will help as well for a player of the year in Mbappe if we get it on Sunday. Um, because it's a high-rated league gun player. So, next one. Come on, EA. Show me that Mares, please. It's going to be... All right, we've got an 84 Raul Garcia. Not as good, unfortunately. But we'll go ahead and grab him. Next player pick. Come on, EA. Show us something high-rated. Come on. Hey, oh, okay. Oh, all right. All right. All right, EA. Not bad. Shaw. We got an 87 Shaw, an 87 Lopez. 
Only an 84 Raul Garcia, but that is, this is a good card, by the way. This card looks really decent, in my opinion. If he had more stamina, he'd be a great CDM for me, but... Uh, if he gets a team of the season tomorrow on Friday, I think he'll be a fantastic card to get a really nice pace upgrade and possibly a good stamina upgrade. So let's go and open the rest of his packs now. I'm actually, I think that's a pretty decent set of rewards to be honest. It's a pretty decent set of reds, not too shabby. Um, and of course, I don't know if he's going to get a team of the season tomorrow. Uh, I think that's going to be interesting to see because um, it rarely did EA give informs to players that are going to get a team of the season. So maybe they give him a high rate inform because he's not getting a team of the season tomorrow. That could that could be wrong, but that's just my opinion. I just think that that's something EA would do would be uh, would be to give a player a, an inform because he's not getting a team of the season. So first mega pack is not going to be anything too great, unfortunately. Let me quickly swap all these players around and uh, and see what we have in terms of uh, dupes that are tradable and untradable. We'll go ahead and uh, swap all these around. Um, and discard the tradable versions that don't go for anything and uh, and keep the untradable versions in the club. Next mega pack. Come on, EA. Show us the bacon. Come on. Walk me out. No walkout, unfortunately. Can we get a blue? That is the question. Can we get a team of the season in these packs? Can it be a most consistent if we do? That's probably asking for a lot, but you know what? Sometimes if you don't ask, you don't get. We're going to get ourselves an Adan, unfortunately. Nothing too great there. 83 rated. Um, go ahead and store him in the club. And again, quickly swap over all these players. I know Sam right now is like so conservative with his coins. It's unreal. He wants every coin he could possibly get. So um, hopefully we can get him some good players. And hopefully we can get him some walkouts that can that can help towards SBCs. Because in my opinion, as we get a walkout, fantastic. Come on, let's see what this is first. It's not going to be a blue, which could be a good thing. It's going to be French, centre mid, Paul Pogba. That is incredible. Paul Pogba, baby. Come on. That is absolutely phenomenal. Let's go. I am actually really happy with that. And the reason that's sick is because, of course, if there's a French uh, French requirement for um, for an Mbappe player of the year SBC, or maybe he uses it for the, the Vieira, it's a fantastic 88 rated card, and it's French. It helps out a lot. So, is there anything decent in this pack? As I was about to say, walkouts sometimes, even if they're untradeable, are, are best. Oh, wow. All right. Every time I want to speak, EA just surprised me. All right. We get an 88 Pogba and an 87 Sterling in the same pack. That is absolutely phenomenal. That pack is incredible. Okay, like I was saying, uh, the reason Sam isn't taking tradable rewards is because having an untradable walkout or two walkouts like Pogba and Sterling holds more value in his club than having, uh, for example, if he got a tradable Verratti or something like that. You know, the 20,000 coins in value isn't as much as, for example, an 88 and an 87 for an SBC. That's why he hasn't taken tradable rewards as opposed to untradable rewards. So, last pack now, the ultimate pack four division rivals can we get another walkout yes we can can it be blue yes it can okay bibra belgian center back is toby older v -reld. that is interesting because sam has already packed older v -reld before and it was tradable so he's just packed a 93 rated team of the season on tradable card that is incredible that is absolutely incredible what is your look today sam's look is incredible today come on let's go oh my word Anything else decent in the pack? Anything else? There's a glick in there. I mean, that is that is phenomenal. This card looks really good in game as well. Unfortunately, he's a little bit on the slow side, but his defending and physical stats are up there. Like very, very good stats. Uh, he's six foot one, but he's got decent passing stats as well. His dribbling's not half bad as well. So. Very interesting. We'll take that. Store that in the club. Uh, we've got some 83s and 82s here as well. I am going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to sift for all these. And I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, we're on to trade with packs now. We've got a 100k pack for rivals. Can we get another walkout? Three in a row, EA. No, we can't, unfortunately. Can we get a blue? No, we can't, unfortunately. But it's an inform. That's all right. It's going to be at least 10,000 coins in value. It's going to be a French CDM. It's going to be... Who is that? It's going to be Savonier. Savonier, I mean... If he's from the Ligue 1, that's going to hold some value in the next couple of days. Um, and being French as well, that whole already holds a bit of value as we get a, a Robben in there as well. That is actually a very good pack. That is a very good pack. Although it's not a walkout, we've got an 85 rated player, an 84 rated player, some 83s and an inform that's from the Ligue 1 and it's French, which is very helpful, of course. I know I keep mentioning like an Mbappe SBC, but Sam's hellbent on completing the Mbappe SBC, so that helps a lot. Now we've got the Team of the Week pack. If we can get ourselves something like, I don't think Mahrez is available in this pack, but if we can get like a Shaw, if we can get a Lopez, we'll get a Bellotti, any of the height rated ones, that'd be fantastic. Show me a walkout here. Come on, walk me out, please. 
No walkout, unfortunately. These have never been good for me. These have genuinely never been good for me. I've opened about six on my own account and had one walkout in all six packs. Um, Sam rarely gets walkouts. Simon rarely gets walkouts. It's unfortunate. This is usually why I don't play to Elite 3, as you see here why. So we have a, a pack that has... About 30,000 coins roughly in value, whereas that 100k pack had a discard of 16k. Robben's got a value of about 15k. The Inform's got a value of about 15k. In my opinion, it's definitely worth more going for the gold one. Oh, well, actually, now Team of the Season rewards are out. It's more worth it going for, for, for Elite 3. But before that, it was worth going for a gold one. So, let's go ahead now and open up some more rewards. Time for Dan's rewards now. Dan is a big QPR fan. Uh, let me quickly mute my phone. I do apologize. He just scraped rank two as well. I think he was like 10 or 20 points above the threshold, which is incredible. I'm very happy for him. So he's got two ultimate packs for a chance to pack some team of the seasons and whatnot. And then we have, of course, the foot champions rewards in which he finished gold two as he does pretty much every single week. So at least when he finishes gold two next week, he's going to have a guarantee of at least one player from one of the top five leagues, which is fantastic. So we have two player picks now, four items. Let's go ahead and open up these. Can we get a high rated player EA? 86 is not bad. It's a fantastic start, actually. Very decent. Luis Alberto is one of those players every year that starts off with such a poor card, but gets enough informs to eventually have a decent, say, team of the season card. I just wish that EA gave him a decent card at the start of the year, because you know what? It would be usable, uh, having like a Spaniard with decent dribbling, passing, and, you know, not horrendous pace. Anyway, second player pick now is going to be... An 84 Florenzi is not too bad, actually. That's pretty decent. Now, he is looking for right backs and left backs. I just realized that is actually uh, way better than I first thought. Now, Dan is looking for right backs and left backs. So, I should have taken Gaia. I just realized I probably should have taken Gaia. However, that is not bad. He can sell his one, uh, sorry, his future stars Hakimi and use that Florenzi. It's a decent card. Anywho, here we have the rewards now. So, we can start off with rivals. We have two ultimate packs EA. Walk me out. Let me see that walkout logo. There we go. First pack to walk out. Blue? No blue in the first one, but it could be something decent still. It's going to be Italian centimeters. It's going to be Verratti. Unfortunately, not the best, but at least it's an 86 plus, so we'll take that. Uh, we'll, of course, hold value in the club, opportunity cost, and all that stuff. So we'll go ahead and take that. It's not too shabby. Uh, and we'll store him in the club. Anything else decent in the pack? We've got a couple 83s in there. Not too bad. Um, nothing else in terms of value there. So we'll go ahead and discard the rest. We have the second ultimate pack now, EA. Can we get back-to-back -back walkouts? Let's see. Yes, we can. Can it be blue? No, we cannot, sadly. So we're not going to have a blue in the rival rewards. It's going to be French goalkeeper this time. Hugo Lloris, hey, the French the French players or the players in the Benelux area, so, you know, in, in sort of France, Belgium, that sort of area. We're looking like we're getting some good walkouts today from there, so that is not too bad. We've got a, we've got a Hugo Lloris there, we've had a Pogba, we have a Sterling. Ooh, okay, we've got an Inform in there as well, we've had a Sterling. Oh, that's actually a really good pack. We've got Werner in there, Philippe Anderson in Inform. Lloris, we've had, you know, we've had Sterling already, we've had a team of the season holder V-Reld. We've done pretty well so far today, in my opinion. So we'll go ahead and uh, try and swap these, although most of them aren't going to be untradeable there. And we'll go ahead and discard those. So not too bad for rivals this week. Anyway, you got a rare, rare gold pack of two rare megas. I'm a big fan of rare mega packs this year, so hopefully there's going to be something being held in there that's decent for us. We'll go ahead and open those in just a second, but we're going to start off with a Lecomte. Nothing too spectacular there. We'll go ahead and just store that in the club. There's good of, good value in uh, in consumables in these packs, obviously being all rare. Um, unfortunately, he's been very unlucky in this one, but usually there's decent value in consumables. If you get a couple of squad fitnesses, maybe, um, you can hold some pretty decent value there. So we've got two rare mega packs now. Go on, EA. Show us something decent, please. It's not going to be a walkout in the first one, but there is some blues that aren't walkouts, and we're not going to get any of them today. Can we get an 85? going to be Bastost, unfortunately. I was hoping that would be Robin, but it's going to be Bastost, an 83 rated player. Like I said, though, there is there is value in these packs still. There is good value in these packs, so we can still get a good amount of value out of these packs. Uh, look at that. We've had four squad finishes there, a camp center forward and a CDM center mid, and a draft token. 15k alone in value, of course. You can't actually sell it for 15k. But when I use the word value, I mean in terms of you can't sell it, but it holds that kind of amount. So, a draft token is pretty good. Can we get anything good in the last pack? We can't get a walkout, and we're not going to get a board either, unfortunately. It's pretty, pretty poor end, but I mean, we'll take it. It's not too bad. Um, go ahead and just store everything there. And, uh, oh, we'll get a gold pack. We've got a free pack there. We'll discard these, these tradable rare golds. What are we going to get in the gold pack? Come on, EA. Come on, EA. Show us something good. 
Imagine a walkout. No, we're not going to get anything good. I don't think we're getting anything there. I'm not even going to watch you through and waste. I'm not going to waste the time of seeing a non-rare. Um, we'll go ahead. There you go. We've got a hawk in there. Actually, it's not too bad. So... Time for some more rewards. It is now time for Simon's rewards. You guys know Simon. Simon is a bit of a legend on the channel now. We've been opening these rewards for a very long time. He finished in rank three as he usually does in rivals. Uh, because Simon just plays champs and doesn't play rivals. So he just takes the rank three rewards. And you know what? They're not bad to be fair. You get yourself a couple of uh, couple of mega packs and a couple of 50k packs. It's pretty decent. Now it's time for his uh, foot champs as well. He finished in gold two. Which is pretty interesting. Um, okay. Well, the interesting thing is, is that Simon was on 18 wins this week, and he went out on Sunday um, and had uh, a lot of a lot of beer, uh, and he said that, and he said he came home and I, 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 he told me he played to gold one. He told me he won the games to gold one. So, uh, oh, Lopez is not bad. So whether he whether he did or whether he just had a bit of a blur, I don't know. But hey, he finished in gold two apparently, so we'll take the gold two rewards. And no, we don't want FIFA points. Yeah, come on, don't do that to us. All right, anyway. We're going to start off with the uh, Mega Packs now for Rivals. So we'll start off with these. Come on, EA. Show us something decent in the Mega Packs. Let's see. Can we get something good? All right, we're starting off with a board. Not too shabby. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's going to be Spanish. Cam. Uh, Sarabia, I think. Yeah, Pablo Sarabia. 83 rated is not too great. Uh, I feel like the 83s don't really hold value in this game uh, until there's one specific SBC. And only then will they ever retain any kind of value at all. But we're taking 83. It's not It's not horrendous. I mean, at least it's a board drop. At least at least we get to see a different animation to just a normal rare gold pack. And uh, we've got a second mega pack now. And it's going to be another board. It's going to be Spanish. It's going to be left mid this time. Koke is 85 rated. That is actually good. That is really good, actually. We'll take that. Uh, I'm so glad Vitolo is not a, a board drop on this game anymore because he'd be baiting people so hard. But hey, a Koke is pretty decent. Is his Rashford tradable in the club? It is. We'll go ahead and store that. I mean, we'll actually, let's swap all these guys. Um, I don't think all of them will be tradable though. So we'll go ahead and swap all these. Get the amount of coins there. Probably should have been doing that from the start. That's my bad, actually. Um, but, you know, Koke's not bad. We've got two rare player pack now, EA. Players packs now, EA. Please, go on. Show us something good. First one's not a walkout. These rarely give out anything good when I open them. Uh, I think the best we've had so far is actually um, a packed a Neymar on Simon's account, which, by the way, I never realized that video has 250,000 views now. That has a quarter of a million views on that video. That's crazy. You guys are nuts. I, that video, the first day I uploaded it did well, but it, I never thought it'd do 250,000 views well. And wow, I was blown away. So I'm very grateful for that. Um, and uh, and maybe maybe one day we pack another name on. <laughs> we get another quarter of a million views. Please, EA. We're not going to get it in this pack, though, unfortunately. Um, and we're not going to get a blue either. But you know what? I feel like we've had a really high-rated team in the season today. So even if we don't get anything else good, uh, we've got that. And we are going to get Quincy Promos there. 83 rated. I mean, of all the 83s, he's not the worst, to be fair. Uh, we could have had worse, but we'll go ahead and take him. And we'll swap all these players around. And I think all these are pretty much untradeable. So just go ahead and discard them. Simon's got loads of untradeable. Now they're pretty much all going to be untradeable. So now for champs rewards, the tradable packs. We're going to start with the rare gold pack uh, again. No walkout. Is it going to be a board? It is. I mean, we're going to take a board. What's it going to be? It's going to be something good. It's going to be Spanish. It's going to be goalkeeper. We don't care anymore. <laughs> no one cares about goalies. Yeah, come on, come on, EA. Show us something good in these rare mega packs, please, because I feel like Simon gets pretty much shafted every single week now. Uh, Simon does not get good rewards anymore. Uh, so it'd be nice to get him something decent, you know, it'd be nice to give him, get him a little something. So uh, it's going to be another board. It's going to be Portuguese this time, goalkeeper. It's going to be Rui Patricio because unfortunately Anthony Lopez, the 84 rate goalie, is in this week's team of the week and he would have been a walkout and an inform. So uh, it's not going to be him. So we've got a lot of tradable players there we can just discard. I'm seeing a lot of uh, of players that were informed last week as well. Obviously, we've got Werner in, in one of the packs on Sam's account and we've had Lala there. But we're going to finish off with a walkout and it's tradable and it's blue. Come on, be something good. It's going to be Irish striker Collins. It's a great way to end, to be fair. A walkout blue is a good blue. We'll take that. It's a fantastic way to end. Out of all the poor luck we've had, that is not bad. We'll take that. It, it, it wasn't going well, but it's been redeemed. We'll go ahead and take that. Collins, we'll send you to the transfer list. We'll store the rest. Anything else in the duplicates? No, there is not. Let's go and finish off the rewards now with Wayne's rewards. Now it's time for Wayne's rewards. Wayne is a newcomer to the reward videos on the channel. And like every newcomer, he asked for uh, for an icon in a pack. And unfortunately, like every newcomer, I don't think he realizes that I, because I went through a, a period where I got like 
three icons in three weeks, all right? It was an incredible period, all right? I wish I could do that. I wish I could continue doing that. Unfortunately, I cannot. I cannot just get icons out of nowhere. I'm sorry. I'm not a I'm not a magician. For some reason we're getting Anthony Lopez's out of nowhere though. I am not a magician. I am not I wish I could, all right? I miss those views. Don't get me wrong. I really do miss those views, and I wish I could do that again. But uh, I'm going to go with Joaquin. I feel like it's better to link up. Um, I do. I wish I could. But unfortunately, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'll try my best. I'll just open the packs and do what we normally do. And if we get an icon, then I'll be very happy because obviously we'll get a lot of views in the video. But if we don't, then we don't. All right? So we're going to start off with Mega Packs now for Rank 1 at Division 4. Four, I think, or Division... F yeah, no, it is Division... No, it might be Division 3, actually. No, Division 4. It's Division 4. I'm certain on it, all right? We've got Rank 4 in Division 4. We're going to start off with, actually... We've got Rank 1 in Division 4. I can't speak now. Uh, we've got an 85 to start. Alibur is actually a fantastic pull. Um, and uh, th If this was the start of the year, that would be an 80 to 100,000 coin card. I'm not entirely sure how much he goes for now, but it's a very good, it's a very good card to get. Uh, let me quickly... Swap these around. It's going to bug me if I don't. All right, we'll go quickly swap these around and discard the tradable counterparts. Um, and we're going to go ahead and uh, go into the next mega pack now. That is a great start, though. An A5 Alibur is a fantastic start. So hopefully we can uh, we can build on that. And we're going to get another board. We'll take that. Could it be another 85? We'll see. It's going to be Spanish. It's going to be a centre mid. It's going to be. It's not going to be another 85. It's going to be manager Gregos 83. You want to be looking for a Spanish centre mid. You want to be looking for Atletico Madrid uh, because that is 85 Saul. And if it's not Atletico Let's go Madrid. It's probably not going to be great. I mean, you could get Elira Mendy, who's also decent from Real Sociedad, but um, it wasn't Elira Mendy. So we have now two prime gold players packs, which are interesting. I rarely open these in rewards anymore because obviously most of the rewards I open are Division 1 um, and these are Division 4. So it's actually a nice, um, it's a nice refreshing sort of change it's a nice it's nice differentiation from ultimate packs and mega packs so uh we'll open these these are usually poor for me though i never i never tend to get anything good from prime gold players packs these are the one packs i rarely tend to get stuff good stuff in and i see people tweeting all the time saying how good prime gold players packs are and i just think they're crazy i think they're absolutely crazy because these never pay out for me never Anyway, we're going to get Croatian centre mid. It's going to be Kovacic. We'll go ahead and take that. It's not too bad. A board is all right in a Prango players pack. But I have literally, if you go back and look at all my pack openings from every single promo that there's ever been, there's usually Prango players packs out. There's usually 15 of them. I usually open all of them. And I don't usually get a walkout from any of them. So if that doesn't scream that they are very bad packs, I don't know what does. But we've got the rare mega packs. Oh, sorry, the rare player packs now from Rival Rewards. Can we get something good in the second pack? Because the first pack, unfortunately... Oh, I mean, Dayton cost a... I forgot Morata went to Atletico Madrid. All right, let's just not talk about that. Let's just not talk about that. <laughs> oh, for goodness sakes. Let's just not talk about that. Um, so, Morata, 83, not great. <laughs> oh, I totally forgot. That's embarrassing. That is totally embarrassing. All right, just I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to see this 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 point in the video. Do not timestamp it. Do not comment about it. All right, just don't. Let's just not talk about it. All right, and we're not even gonna get a walkout to redeem ourselves in the second pack, are we? It's gonna be an inform at least. This gonna hold some value in the club. It's gonna be Czech Republic goalkeeper. It's gonna be oh, at least it's a league and goalie again. Like if we do get a um, if we do get a, an Mbappe player of the year SBC. This could hold some value with that SBC. So we'll go ahead and take that 84 Schmeichel in there as well. Not too bad. Now we've got rivals. Uh, sorry, champs rewards as well. We've got rare gold pack and two rare mega packs. Hopefully one of these can have a walkout blue like in Simon's rewards. So you never know. And again, rare gold packs. I feel like they're also packs that nobody really likes. I don't really think rare gold packs ever have any value in them either. Um, I mean, they do have consumable value. And when, when I say they don't have value in, I mean, like, obviously, if you're opening them from rewards, they hold consumable value, which is great. But what I mean is, like, they never give you walkouts. You never get good players in them. Whereas these packs usually give me some good stuff in. So the rare gold packs, big no. Prime gold plays packs, big no. Uh, mega packs are pretty decent. Rare mega packs are very good. Um, obviously, the rare player packs, uh, ultimate packs, Jumbo rare plays packs are all fantastic. Um, but in terms of like the rating wise of what packs I think are best, I think rare rare mega packs are probably the better packs that aren't just full player packs, in my opinion. Anyway, as we say that, we get no boards in our last two packs. But if you have enjoyed this video, leave a like down below. It's a pretty long one. I think it's gonna be 20 something minutes, so a lot of mid-rolls on that. If you enjoyed those, smash the like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.